The first term of a sequence of numbers is 18. The term to term rule for this sequence is add 6. Is 603 a term of this sequence? You must explain your answer. Right, so let's actually write out this sequence. It will hurt to, uh, to help us out. Right, let's start off with 18. 18 add 6 is 24. 24 add 6 is 30. 30 add 6 is 36. I've just drawn a couple I can work out with. Now, I could keep going until I hit 603, or if I don't hit 603. Or we can do something smart. Now, we can work out your nth term. Now, nth term is that we look at your difference here. And your difference here is 6. And to be honest with you, it says it there. So it's going to be 6n. How do I get from 6 to 18? I have to add 12. So my nth term is 6n add 12. Now, it's actually asking us, if I do 6 times a number, add 12, Will I get to 603? So I'm doing 6n plus 12 equals 603. Right, uh, 6n plus 12 equals 603. We'll have a solution. But if n's a whole number, then we can prove that it's going to be in the sequence. Uh, to solve this, I'm minus 12 from both sides. Okay, this cancels out. It means I've got 6n equals. Now, it's calculator paper, so I'm going to use my calculator for this, just to be safe. 603 minus... 12 equals 591 and solve it as divided by 6 divided by 6 okay. which equals 98.5 because that says 98.5 and that's not a whole number we know it's not going to be in the sequence so I'm going to space here but I say it's not in the sequence Next bit. Rizivi says no terms in the sequence are multiples of seven. Give an example where Rizivi is wrong. Easiest way is just to keep going along in your sequence just to see if we do hit multiple of seven. Okay. Now, what was I on? I was on 36. And it's going up in sixes. 36 add 6 is 42. And then uh, ask yourself, is that in the sequence? Then add 6 again. 48. Add 6 again, 54, 6 again, 60. And ask yourself, is any of these numbers in the 7 times table? Well, the answer is 42 is in the 7 times table, so 42. <laughs> if you wanted to show if you can, say the 5th term is a multiple of oh, 7. Now if you really wanted to be smart, what we could do, we could write a sequence, which is 6n plus 12. Now if it's a multiple of 7, I could just times it by 7. Okay? Um, let's expand this. 7 times 6 is 42. Plus 12. Now any value of n I put in will give me a term that's in the sequence that is also a multiple, multiple of 7. So if I put 1 in, I'd actually get 42. If I put 2 in, I'll do 2 times... 42 plus 12 which is 96 which is also a 7 times table that's in the sequence so your statement really is that all numbers that are times by 42 and then add 12 will be in the sequence and is a multiple of 7